n'importe quoi Tout ce que tu racontes, c'est des conneries Alors, ferme ta sale gueule de merde Hi guys, welcome back to Chronicles from the Couch. I'm Kev. And I'm Jo. And we are playing Man of Medan. Um, not sure what the episode is, and unfortunately we have lost a couple of episodes due to some technical difficulties. Um, all that we've really missed was the recap of Act 2 with the curator. Um, Alex and Julia escaping from the ghost Alex, who was actually the captain, right? Yep. Yeah. And they then found a radio, but when they tried to radio for help, the power got cut. Um, now we're looking for a generator. We yeah. are. And Alex and Julia have fell through a hole. They have. Um, and Comrade and Fliss yep. are in the radio room. And Brad is up there with them as and well. And Brad as well. Yeah. Forgot about him. So that's where we are. Let's crack on and find out what happens. Generator. Yeah. If we can get it started, we can power up the radio. Copy that. Wait up here by the radio. Here. Hmm. Good catch. Especially in the dark. Yeah. I think they're bonkers for going back in, to be fair. Hey. Because when they were up on the top deck, they could think clearly. What a fresh you. Oh, they might not have twigged on that one. Right. So we have a lamp and a torch. Does that mean that they're going to get separated? Oh, no. Oh, no. Don't say that because I can't go. Okay. Well, you're sat here on a the couch. <laughs> they're the ones getting separated. Excellent. We're in the lower levels of the ship. The follow up shot. Oh, there's a room. Spooky looking room. Oh, great. If you bought Julia. Ah, we've been in here before. Safe. They're safe. Ooh. So this is from the introduction. It was. Medical officer's report. Um, minutes of meeting between scientists X CWO Walter Bishop and CWO Tom Palmer, Sergeant Peter Wood observing, and I guess it's just the details of the um, of the report. Yeah. Guys, if you want to read this, feel free to pause it. Yeah, we're going to move uh, on. We're going to move on. Although Walter Bishop, he was the scientist from Fringe, right? Bishop. Yeah. Ah, if you've watched that show, great show. Yeah, you should watch it. It's on Netflix. Oh, I don't know. I watched it when it came out. So it looks like there was some sort of fight, and this Charlie went to the brig. Oh, okay, yeah, we've we've, we've, we've seen all of these, right? We a have. Big fight. No, I it was a it was... tiny fight, and we've got that one over there. Oh, oh. hello. He said we didn't go into here. We looked around. Oh. Through the bars, but we didn't actually. This way. I think it was this way. I'm gonna need a hundred hot baths if we ever get out of here. We're gonna get out of here, Julia. I hope you're right. Am I ever wrong? <laughs> Bloody know it all. <laughs> yes, you are wrong. You came down here. Oh. Is this the hospital room that we escaped I from? I was about to say, is this sick bay? Yeah. Sick Bay. It's not Star Trek. <laughs> it said Sick Bay. I know, but it just made me think of Star Shut Trek. Shut up. Um, yeah, so this is the body that fell out of the um, wow. Jesus. cupboard. He was the one that locked the other guy in. Wasn't he? Yeah. And he had the key. And he looked like he had uh, been scared to death. Scared to death. In the cupboard. In the cupboard. Oh, oh. this should be the picture of the boy, right? It should be. We can pick it up. Come on. Well, 
I like how they've aged it. Son of someone on board. Pretty cool. Still in very good condition, though, considering how old the photo is. Ooh. I don't think we've been over this way. With um, Charlie and the other guy. Oh, hello. Oh, that's going down. Anything? Come take a look. Oh. Look, down there. I think that's the engine room. Good place to find the generator, right? Let's find out. Shit. No more ladder. I can drop the rest of the way. Wait. <laughs> Are you okay? Yeah. Fine. Come on down. You ready to press some buttons? <laughs> okay. Decent jump. Yeah. Well, they're stuck now. Yeah. Good job. Oh, What's up? You didn't fucking see that? Ray, no. Of course you didn't. Um, hello? Yeah, I think I'm actually seeing clearly for the first time in a while. Nothing jumped out at me. So, the ship was carrying Manchurian gold. But that was really some sort of hallucinogenic bioweapon developed in China during World War II. We know it was unstable and leaked all over the ship. Maybe it's still here, and it's having the same effect on us. Paranoia, hallucinations, that was what this stuff was designed to do. The crew was hallucinating. We know they were scared of something, and the officers thought it was just a bunch of jumpy GIs trying to get out of guard. All this crazy shit going on, none of it's real. None of it's actually there. This couldn't have anything to do with the plane wreck we dived. It was a search and rescue plane. The whole reason it even came out here was because the people on the ship sent out a distress signal. I guess by the time the plane got here, it was too late. Everyone on the ship had lost their minds, so they shot it down. Who knows what the hell they were thinking? Or what they thought they saw? Oh, God. All right, let's get going. Okay, well, that was pretty comprehensive. They all seem to understand what's going on there. Yeah. Well, those two. The faint yellow yeah, mist. Yeah, I could see that. That's pretty cool. Here comes the crazy. <laughs> you know what? All these don't seem to have any meaning. Normally you find these little clues and things to read in games, uh -huh. and they have some bearing on the story, but right. I don't understand how any of these things fit in. No. It's like they've put them in there. I wonder what would have for... happened if we went to Japan on vacation instead. Shut up. Put them in there for some backstory, but. Mm. Doesn't really give you much of a story. No. I'm kind of waiting for some sort of tedious link between them all. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, there was a thing there. Are you sure? Yeah. No, it was just it's that. Just a shiny. Oh, okay. Background. Yeah, you can see the smog now. It's getting thicker. Yeah. Oh, I can hear something. Sounds like a generator. Yes. Hey, look at this. The rebreather. I bet the fisherman brought it from the Duke. You think it still works? Uh, it's got maybe a few minutes of air left. Worth taking with us? It's just gonna slow us down. Oh, do we take it? Maybe take it, might help him. <gasps> Not worth the risk. Controversial? What's the trying to kill each other? No! Stop, please! No! Ferme ta gueule de merde! Tu dis 
Non. Fais pas ça. Ta gueule. Oh, oh non, non. Je t'avais dit. Ta gueule, de Danny. Fermez ta gueule. Oh fuck. Danny dead. There's the cap. That would mean they don't need generator. Yeah. Oh, that's the smoke making. Trigger the next thing, then, right? I think we should try to avoid that. Yeah, we gotta get out of here now. Where's the cat? I don't know. He's got the cap. That's why we couldn't find it. What's the problem with sharing all that gold, eh? There must be plenty of that to go around, more than enough. And we're all in this together, right? Trying to cut me out of the deed? <laughs> you can't have all the gold. <laughs> oh no! Ah! What? <laughs> I, I thought I did. Heart rate's so fast. <laughs> oh, I could have sworn I'd done the heartbeat thing, but never mind. We are where we are, guys. That's going to be the end of the episode. If you enjoyed it, like, comment, subscribe, etc. Hit the bell. Yeah. And we will see you next time. Take care, guys. Bye bye. bye.